you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going over a lineup update because Mutt Heroes is indeed dropping tomorrow, guys. And the special stream is tonight where they'll be going over all the, at least not, I wouldn't say all, but they're probably going over most, if not all of the content for tomorrow so I figured it just seems right to go over my lineup what I'm going into Mutt Heroes with going over all the things I plan to change so stay tuned for all that and you guys can probably hear some insight on how I like to build my team so it could help you guys a little bit there too uh, my coins are a little down I made some investments for Mutt Heroes just in case certain players come out if you guys are wondering that too but yeah so I got I also completed Mutt Master Pat Tillman finally guys this card's a monster. I wish I had done it sooner. Me and Xerxes just actually both completed them. We were just talking about it. And we're kind of mad that we didn't complete him earlier. This guy's a monster. I played a few games with him. He's all over the field. He's one of the fastest guys on the field. One of the hardest hitters. So it feels right to do a weekend, not a weekend league lineup update. Technically it is because weekend league does start today. But I will not be playing weekend league today. I'll be starting tomorrow when Mutt Heroes comes out. Hopefully crossing my fingers, there is a Saquon Barkley coming out. So I'm waiting for that. And then I'll go over what I plan to upgrade on this team as a whole. And then I'll go over everything. So guys, before we get into this video, real quick little intro. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. We finally hit 9K. We're at actually almost 9.2. You guys have been crazy. Like, thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything, guys. If you're new to the channel and you guys want to come join the family, hit that subscribe button, boys. We're so close to 10K. We're almost 800 subscribers away from 10K. My first big milestone on YouTube, guys. I'm really excited. So let's make that a reality. Smash the sub button. Turn on that noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, especially when Mud Hero is coming out tomorrow, guys. You're not going to miss out all the bangers we got dropping tomorrow and if you guys haven't already make sure to give that video this video a big thumbs up if you guys have been smashing the like button give away or not let's get this video to 300 likes you guys have been killing the like button you guys have been smashing it so let's get that done guys and comment down below what you guys think i should do as far as upgrades to my team so let's get into the lineup all right guys so i'm gonna go one by one position by position and at the end i'll go over the lineup as a whole so you can see it as a unit so first off at quarterback we got Mar lamar jackson michael vick so i'm obviously starting lamar jackson my i mean vick's good and all he's got great stats but Lamar Jackson's a different kind of monster, and he can get escape artists, which is why I like him. If Mutt Heroes or any other, or most of you ever drop some nice quarterback, maybe I'll make the switch, but for now, Lamar Jackson gets the job done. I have tier 2 Madden passing on him, so his stats look actually really good. His passing stats are pretty good. He's got 90 speed, he's got escape artists, everything you want from a quarterback, and he also has some pretty good underlying stats, such as spin move 82, juke move 90, and a few other stats that really involve him running the ball. I don't usually do quarterback design runs, but break sack 96, throw under pressure. Like, he's got some pretty great stats, so I usually just scramble with him if you guys are wondering. I don't do quarterback design runs. Now, coming over to the halfback, we got Marcus Allen, Phillip Lindsay, and Saquon Barkley still. If you guys are wondering, these two are going probably as of tomorrow. I'm praying. I'm almost positive there'll be a Saquon Barkley coming out tomorrow. So, tomorrow, my running back switch will be probably Saquon Barkley taking over for Marcus Allen. I'll leave Marcus Allen as a backup for now. And if there's something else like I want from that problem, maybe I'll end up just powering down Marcus Allen. But he's, it's been a wild ride with him. He's lasted almost two months for me. He's really gotten the job done, but it's time to make a switch. And this new Saquon tomorrow, I anticipate if there is a new one, his stats will be like a 90 speed. And he has, he's going to have a superpower because it's Mud Heroes. I'm hoping his superpowers is break tackle and or like break tackle or strength or something because he's a really strong running back. Maybe spin move juke. But that will all be seen tomorrow. I anticipate by tomorrow at the same time. I will be picking up a Saquon Barkley. At fullback, we're still rocking with Corey Schlesinger. I got him for free. No need to upgrade fullback when you got a guy like this with all top tier blocking for free out of the thing. I don't have to talk too much about a fullback, obviously. Now, wide receivers is the place that I really want to make some changes to soon. So we got Torrey Holt, obviously. He's a monster, so I don't really have to talk about him. You guys already know. Torrey Holt's a great wide receiver. Now, my, my concerns is DeAndre Hopkins, Tyree Kill, and Randy Moss. Obviously, this crew needs some work. Randy Moss is really good, but again, I'm not the biggest fan of using just a power-up, not full card there. So hopefully, we can make some switches there soon. I do love Randy Moss out of the slot, but I want like that next-level top-tier like OP wide receiver that I that I'd really need on this team. Hopkins and Hill just aren't cutting it. My pr I'm praying that a new Hill comes out soon, so that I could just upgrade Hill to like a 92 overall, and then just have him as my big guy that's really fast. But again, at this way this game's going. Hill might be fast, but guys like Ty, um, Torrey Holt and Randy Moss are faster. So there's not much of a purpose for Hill for me at this moment. Now, tight end is a position that I need to change to. So I currently have Kittle. I love Shannon Sharp, but again, with new cards coming out, I want a new Kittle. I'm praying that Mud Heroes brings a Kittle. And if they don't bring a Kittle, then I'm going to have to probably make a switch pretty soon because he's really good. But we're getting to a point where players are too fast in this game. And although this Kittle is a beast, 
he's getting outrun so what, what used to make him so good was his speed and his run blocking now he's just a run blocker and with better pass rushing he's barely even that but he's still a tight end so you can never discount an 81 run block on a tight end i'm hoping with a new kittle drop he'd have like an 84 85 speed make him really overpowered but again we have to wait on that now the line is where i'm going to be making some big changes too i need a new left tackle staley's been good but again it's time to make some switches to the line i need a new left tackle and then as far as left guard i got bruce matthews he can stay for now he gets the job done now at center we got kelsey i need to upgrade there now i've been thinking about picking up powered up jason kelsey to get him to like a 90 overall but i'm kind of waiting in case they do guys there's still kevin mawai i'm waiting to see if his price goes down or if there's a uh, like a modern day type center that gets a better upgrade card larry allen's just fine for now if they drop a zach martin uh mud heroes or anything like that i will definitely try to pick that up and i right tackle again i'm more concerned about my tackles and my center than my guards i'll probably end up picking up two new tackles through this promo if they have them there's always something like an andrew and a and villanueva but i forget his first name andrejo villanueva i forget his first name you guys get the point now coming over to the defense this is where i can't make too many changes because i have too many knack cards so i left out i got the marcus lawrence and cameron jordan i have switched d law to defensive tackle for the time being considering he is not they're both not i want to get rid of either one of them so cameron jordan's my starting left end i got him out of the house rules event so for me i have to keep him he's free really good stats really good play rec really good power move his block shedding could be slightly higher but again beastly card and then demarks lawrence has his ability so obviously i'm not gonna get rid of him now for defensive tackle i mean for right end i got aaron donald my only hope is that aaron donald gets an upgrade quite soon i'm hoping for most feared so most feared is probably coming in about two weeks from today two to three weeks from today so when that comes i will be picking up a new aaron donald card i anticipate we'll be getting one and then at defensive tackle i have michael pierce and obviously i use d law there i might pick up the new heavyweight michael pierce so that i can upgrade him even more and then use him and d law as my two defensive tackles i typically don't use a second defensive tackle which is why i've been kind of hesitant to do it now left outside linebacker we got von miller i have not made any switches on the von miller front because he's a beastly card hits a good amount of thresholds and again he's free so there's no reason to change him I do want to power him up, but I anticipate that I'm waiting, right? So I'm going to wait to, so I was waiting for Khalil Mack, but Khalil Mack ended up getting a 91 also, so there was no need to switch. So for me, I'm waiting for the next big outside linebacker. When that comes out, if there's no Von Miller in sight, I will make the upgrade. But for now, if there's another Von Miller, I might just end up sticking him out for the year. Beastly outside linebacker. But the other issue is that I only can rush one side usually. So unless I'm blitzing, it might be more beneficial for me to just get a coverage outside linebacker on the opposite side of Lawrence Taylor. But there's not really many good outside linebacker coverage options yet. I'm waiting for like maybe a Leighton Van Der Esch or something. A middle linebacker, we got this locked down from probably the year. We got Ryan Shazier locked in for the year as my team captain, so he's always going to be there. An insane card. And then a card that plays amazing as a user is Devin White. He obviously won't be the whole year on my team, unless I end up going with the Gauntlet Master and I end up picking Devin White anyways. So I have to obviously wait for that to see what we end up doing as far as that. Now, for right outside linebacker, you guys already know, Lawrence Taylor, the GOAT. He's going to be on. He's gonna be here all year in this position. Just going to keep powering him up and keep progressing him along the chain. So, don't got to talk too much about him. Now, cornerback's the place where I plan to make some changes. So, I'm going to sell Willie Brown. I have Gilmore and Ramsey. I'm hoping that Ramsey gets a Mutt Hero card. He wasn't part of my predictions. And if he does get a Mutt Hero's card, I'll buy the Ramsey, have like a 92 Ramsey, have a 90 Stephon Gilmore, and then I just got to worry about what I'm going to do as far as my third corner. So I can't keep rocking with Byron Jones as my third corner. He gets burned all the time. He gets destroyed. I've been rocking with him for way too long, but I haven't seen the right cornerback. So I'll probably pick up Ramsey and I'll have Gilmore. Now I just got to worry about who the third will be. So it all depends on what comes out with the promo. Now free safety, we got Brian Dawkins. I wish I had a full card free safety, but Brian Dawkins has amazing stats. Nothing wrong with having him. I'm going to see what comes out with this promo. If nothing good, I'll keep rocking with Dawkins and then maybe even power him up. Although I am waiting for a Sean Taylor. And based off them giving Calvin Johnson the free safety Mutt Hero, uh, Mutt 10 card, I'm assuming that we might actually get a regular set legend Sean Taylor, which in that case I'll have to pick him up, which is why I've been hesitant to pick up the full Brian Dawkins. Now, strong safety boys. We got Pat Tillman, the best card in Madden right now. 96 overall for me. He's got 91 speed. 87 excel for a strong safety that's crazy 97 tackle 98 play rec come on you can't you can't even you can't say anything about this card this card is a monster if i put on if i put john madden pasty on him he'd have a 99 play rec he'd have like it'd be crazy he's got 95 pursuit the pursuit's huge because 91 speed alone can get him to catch up to almost he, he can catch anyone up in the game now if they're even speed the guy would probably keep the lead but he has 95 pursuit which means he'll progressively be able to pursue anyone so for that reason being, like Pat Tillman just, he, when I verse Pat Tillman, he makes sure that no long plays happen. He's always in the plays. And when he gets there, he can even force a fumble. He's got 90 zone coverage. So he, he has zone, he has threshold zone, 93 hit power. So what you usually don't see in Madden at this point in the game is threshold zone and hit power. 
You did you never see both. You see one or the other. Now, on top of that, you never see a 98 play rec, 97 tackle, 91 speed. This card is a complete and absolute monster. Like, there's nothing you can say against that card. Now, let's head over to the team and look at it as a whole. I am an 89 overall right now, but the 89 overall is more so that I got the John Madden coach in there. That kind of progressed my overall. This is what the unit's looking like with some upgrades to receiver and some tackles. My team's going to probably be a 90 overall after we're done with Mud Heroes and then with most feared obviously coming. I need, I need This whole thing up here needs work, right from here to here. My whole offense needs work. By tomorrow, within the next, within this month, I plan to get a new running back, new wide receiver, new lineman, a new tight end, and a new running back. So if I didn't say that already. And then for defense, like I said, a lot of them are not. So I'll probably only be making changes to one cornerback spot. And then pretty much it. I'll probably only be touching the cornerback spot. My defense is perfect to me. I have nothing to switch on there. So maybe some cornerbacks, some more abilities. And then offense is where I'm going to put most of the work in. Because my offense has been struggling a little bit as many teams have gotten ahead of my team and weekend league. But guys, it is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Obviously, if you guys haven't already, go start getting Pat Tillman. He's a monster. I played like two or three games with him already, and I'm loving him. I'm not going to start Weekend League, so I'll have my full team. So I'm waiting for that, and I'm going to go rock out with Pat Tillman and see how he does in Weekend League, obviously. And I got to put some abilities on him, so I'll work on that soon, guys. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. You won't miss out on all the daily content that I bring to you guys on a daily basis on this channel, and you guys will greatly enjoy it. So let's get me to 10K, boys. Let's hit the first milestone as this whole Madden family. And comment down below what you think I should do to my team. Any recommendations for cards? Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get to 200 to 300 likes, guys. I greatly appreciate that. If you're a loyal supporter, you're new, you're old, doesn't matter. Hit the like button. Doesn't take any time out of your day, guys. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys later. Peace.